Papers, papers. Morning, Ingrid. Morning, Gerhard. Did you get what you wanted? Yes, thank you. Yes. May I take one? Of course. <laughs> Will we see you later? No, no, I don't think so. Oh, pity. Still, maybe tomorrow. Yes, maybe tomorrow. Come on, hands. We have to go. She reminds me so much of my wife. What do they do up there? They work up at the Krosenberg Palace. Krausenberg Estate, Vassman speaking. Yes, Mr. Krausenberg. Good morning, sir. How are you? 
We're both well, thank you, sir. She is, in fact, pregnant. Just two months, sir. Thank you. Well, we will prepare everything for tonight, sir. Will Madame also be coming? Yes, I understand, of course. Of course, sir. Goodbye. He wants to visit us later. There's to be a dinner tonight. What time? Dinner's to be served at 7.30. It sounded important. How many coming? Six, including himself and Mrs. Krausenberg. It sounded strange. Was it all worth it? Oh, yes, Joseph. With you, it was worth it. Every moment. When we look back on our life together, it was so wonderful. Yes, my darling. So then, we will hold our heads up high. We will be proud. And you will give them everything we own to save our family. Good morning, Rex Fiora. Krausenberg Industries, the largest group of companies in Europe. Steel, textiles, banking, and a vast art collection stored in a magnificent palace. And all yours after tonight, Rex Fiora. May I say you're to be congratulated, sir. Thank you, Becca. Perhaps if you're a dressler, you will liaise with Eichmann on my behalf until I surprise him with my visit. You'll tell him that he must be available for an important meeting, nothing else. I'll notify him as soon as we arrive, right, Führer? Becker, has Eichmann rounded up the entire Krausenberg family? I understand he's arranging it personally, sir. They're being transported to Gestapo headquarters in Elm, until everything is to your satisfaction, of course. Good, and we must tell the Krausenbergs that I've invited Eichmann to their palace tonight. For the dinner, sir. No, 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 no. Tell him to report after dinner. The Krausenbergs don't trust him, and we must reassure them. What time has the dinner been arranged for? Dinner is at 7.30, Reich Führer. And everything has been kept secret from Berlin? Of course, Reich Führer. Edelheim, what about security? Members of the guard detachment have been personally selected by me, Reich Führer. They will thoroughly check everybody and everything at the villa. And the dinner? Not Jewish food, I trust. <laughs> Never. <laughs> we have selected a German chef and food to your taste, Reich Führer. And your own staff will be in attendance to serve you. Of course. And the Krausenberg staff. There are two remaining house servants, Reich Führer. A young man and a young woman. Are they included on the list leaving for Palestine? Well, our records state that they are, in fact, not Jews. They are Aryan. Aryan? An Aryan couple still working for the Jews? Yes. Are you sure? I understand they have been thoroughly checked in Berlin, right here. Regardless of that, Edelheim, once the Krausenbergs are gone, they must be silenced. And that is a direct order. It will be done. Good. We arrive in 15 minutes, right, sir? I, I do apologize. So you have had a telephone call and you have to report to Gestapo headquarters. Did they say why? No, just that you have to report today. Now, now, Yolanda, we have to be brave. We have to be strong. 
us never give up, Yolanda. My father remembers when your family first came here. They built everything. Gave life and hope and work to the whole town. Will you ever return? Not after all of this. We just want to go home. After 2,000 years, it is time. Goodbye, Yolanda. I will never forget you. I want to thank all of you for your loyalty and your kindness. Goodbye, and God bless to you and your families. Goodbye, Mr. Carlson. as long as we want. Sit. Sit.
Goldschmidt, come. Bring your luggage. Kreuzenberg, come. So, you are Joseph Krautzenberg? Yes, Joseph Krautzenberg. And you're a Jew, yes? A wife and your entire family? Yes, that is correct. Today, it's not good to be a Jew, wouldn't you say? Maybe not. But tomorrow, perhaps. Tomorrow could be worse. Now, I see from your file, you have many houses. I have two, a villa in town and a country palace where I store my art. Well, I understand you must have quite a collection. Tell me, are you donating the collection to the Reichsfuhrer? Heinrich Himmler? That's correct, Heinrich Himmler. It depends. On what? On the outcome of talks and... Oh, yes, the Europa Plan. Yes, the Europa Plan. Are you aware that the Reichsfuhrer ordered me to uh, round up your family? What? You had? When? Oh, it doesn't matter when, simply the result. And have you rounded them up? Yes. May I ask where they are? Well, they're here and enjoying German hospitality. May I see them? I wouldn't recommend it. It could be somewhat emotional. But I have to see them. Himmler promised me no harm would come to them. And indeed, no harm will come to them yet. I intend to keep my end of the bargain. Well, that's all that matters. Take this due to the East Tower. Thank you, I will say goodbye then. I understand we'd see each other for coffee this evening. Oh, by the way, you try to stop your family from sobbing. It doesn't help.
Quiet! Please, listen to me carefully. I've come to, to tell you to remain calm and do exactly as ordered by the Germans. And do not ask them questions. But, Joseph, are, are, are they going to kill us? Not if I can help it. Please, trust me and you will be safe. Now, all of you must be ready to leave at a moment's notice. Leave for where? Uncle Joseph, where are we going? Tell us the truth. Shh. Don't leave us here. All I can tell you is that our lives depend on a meeting I'm having with Heinrich Kimmler. Mm -hmm. I cannot tell you more, but please trust me. Now, I don't know when we'll meet again. It could be tonight or tomorrow, but I will see you again, I promise. And believe me, I am doing everything I can to save us all. Good luck, Joseph, good luck. Thank you, Max. I'm doing my best. Sergeant, I need information on them immediately. Yes, sir. Morning. Morning, Gerhard. Morning, Ingrid. go to the steel plant. I, I was summoned to Gestapo headquarters. Gestapo headquarters? Yes, sir. I had to meet with Eichmann. Eichmann? Yes. Where's the family? They're not coming. What? He's gathered them up. They're there. At Gestapo headquarters? He's herded them there like cattle. But they have not been harmed. The children are there? They're, they're, they're all right. I, I, I'm going to see them. No, 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 you're not, you're not. They haven't been harmed. And I, 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 I told them we're trying, I reassured them. What, what, what more can we do? Give them everything they want. But we already have. Yes, but it, it might not be enough, now that we're dealing with Eichmann. What more can they need? I don't know. But we need something from them. Something that can never be replaced. Our family. Reichsführer is here. Himmler. Here, good God, why didn't you tell me? But like you, I obey orders over Stern.
Hitler. I'm sure this is a pleasant surprise. Hmm, an important business to discuss with you, Eichmann. Matters of life and death. And at your service. Delighted to show you some of the progress we've been making, right, Führer? Yes, yes, Sebastian Bandführer. We're aware of your good work, but we need to speak privately. As you wish. Now, do you know the Krausenbergs? Indeed, I know everything there is to know about Joseph Krausenberg and his family. And Hobbs have been Fuhrer. Dresser has told you to report to the Jews' palace tonight at 9.15 sharp. Yes, you are aware that I have his family here under guard. Hmm. So I've been told. Eichmann, you may wonder why your presence is required. I was curious, yes. It is as an assurance to the Krausenbergs that they will be safe. Safe? May I ask why? They are Jews, after all. Yes. Safe. And tonight you will refrain from using the word Jew or talking about your work. Instead, you are to be patient, courteous, polite. That presumably is an order, Reichsfuhrer. Oh, yes, Eichmann. It is an order. Perhaps there is some change of policy regarding Jews? No, 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 no change of policy. But when I tell you to kill Jews, you will kill Jews. And when I tell you to safeguard Jews, you will safeguard Jews. Is that understood? Of course. Now, my presence here in person is because the Krausenberg industries are controlled and financed by international banks. And tonight, we take over those industries in exchange for the Krausenberg's safe passage to Palestine. I understand. If they give you everything, we will allow them to leave for Palestine. And if not, they leave for Auschwitz. Last one. And a uh, small life. Have you got the money?
Mr. Krausenberg, I'm so sorry, sir. You're earlier than we expected. Hello, Ingrid. Vassman. Congratulations, Vassman told me you to be a mother. Oh. Yes, uh, thank you, sir. Yeah, we're so excited. It's wonderful. Well, if you'll excuse me, there's a lot to be done. They will remove and destroy everything non-German. Who, sir? Your Eisfuhrer, Heinrich Himmler. Did you say Rex Führer Himmler, sir? Yes, Fussman. He is to be our dinner guest tonight. He'll be sending his personal chef and assistance with all of his dinner requirements. I, I can't impress upon you how important tonight's dinner will be. Yeah, of course, sir. As you and Ingrid will attend us at the table and, uh, if requested, will serve Himmler. We are to serve Himmler, sir? Yes. Except I must warn you, nothing, nothing of what is discussed this evening is to leave this house. Mr. Krausenberg, we have never at once in your service. Yes, yes I, I told them you're both utterly trustworthy. However, should they even suspect you of divulging anything you see or hear, you could be immediately taken out and executed by the SS. Of course, sir. Perhaps it would be better for us not to be here. Be scarce, so to speak. Too late. But I gave them copies of your papers, and I explained to them that you're both Aryans, so you, you have nothing to fear. Quite, sir. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Himmler decided that a dinner meeting here would be more private. Also, no doubt, he, he wants to get a better look at my art collection. No doubt about it, sir. Shall I remove all of the covers? Oh, yes, yes. I have nothing to hide. Besides, everything will be theirs after tonight. Very generous, sir. Yes, Fussman. Very generous. Oh, I better be going. Thank you, Vassman. Rosenberg, are you leaving already? Yes, my dear. I've explained everything to your husband, so... Uh... Well, we'll see you later for dinner, then. Yes. Later for dinner. Hey, you know, we have orders to stay late tonight. Do you know why? No, but orders are orders. Well, anything's better than being sent to fight the Russians. Yeah, anything's better than that. Apparently, no one comes back alive. It's the last place I want to be sent to. Now, there's no way I could go. Yeah. Did I tell you my wife's pregnant? No, your first child? Yeah. She swears it's a girl. Ingrid! Ingrid! I'm here. Did he tell you he's coming for dinner? Himmler and Eichmann. Oh. Himmler and Eichmann? What are we going to do? We'll poison them. We have a chance to eliminate two of the biggest monsters to walk the earth. It's our duty to kill them. Have you gone mad? No, Hans, no. We have to do something. We have to leave. We can't leave. We have to leave now. We can't leave. There's a security jet by the SS. What? Mr. Krausenberg said they're probably on their way. So let's get out of here. Just don't panic. Don't panic. I want all of the equipment out now. We can't do it. Why? Mr. Krausenberg and his family, they'd be killed. There'd be reprisals, Hans. There'd be reprisals against innocent people. Quickly! And then what happens to us? Huh? Things have changed. We're going to have a baby. I know. Mr. Krausenberg said we could probably leave tomorrow. Did he? Did he? Did he say that? More or less. He said if everything goes to plan, him and his family are free to leave for Palestine. Oh. But he wants to give us some money before he goes. Why can't we go to Palestine? We could ask Mr. Krausenberg to take us with him. It's impossible. Why is it impossible, huh? Because we can't tell him the truth, darling. 
And he's certainly not going to take two Aryans to Palestine. But we can tell him the truth. If we tell him, if we explain everything, then he'll understand. If we tell him how we're working with the resistance. If we tell him we're Jewish, just like he is. Darling, it's too dangerous. I can't do it. Are you not prepared to try? For me, Hans? For the baby, Hans? It's not something we can try. We have the two cyanide pills. Either for us, look at me, or for Himmler and Eichmann. That's what we have to decide. Hi, Hitler. Hi, Hitler. You must be Hans and Ingrid Wassmann. The two Germans working for the Jews, yes? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hans and Ingrid Bassman. Edelheim. Obersturmführer Edelheim. Sir, my wife, she's pregnant. She feels sick. Perhaps you could go and lie down? Later. First you will open the pantry and show the chef where everything is. Yes? Yes, of course. Excuse me, sir. You, uh, you don't look pregnant yet. Has anyone else been here to check security? No, no one, sir. You're the first. Are there any Jews living here unaccounted for? No, sir. I understand you are both Aryan. Yes, sir, we're German. Tell me, what's it like working for a Jew? We've been treated well. How pleasant for you. You must know quite a number of secrets. Yes? No, sir. We do our job, that's all. And so do we. The chef is in the pantry. Did you, Did you inform you of our guests tonight? Yes, sir. It must remain strictly confidential. Of course. You have our word. Really? How generous. Perhaps you are familiar with our SS and their attention to every detail. The Führer demands strict obedience from all Germans. You will find as good Aryans we know how to obey orders. Really? How interesting. We are most fortunate that we are all such good Aryans. Yes? Yes, sir. Your quarters are upstairs. Yes, sir. Perhaps, Frau Wassmann, you will take me there. Of course. <clears throat> Please allow me to go and tidy up first. That will not be necessary. Ah. Before security arrives. Frau Wassmann, you will search every room thoroughly. This one first. Frau Wassmann. Oh. Oh. Sir, excuse me. Perhaps I should show you the other rooms we're using tonight. 
You will remain down here with my men. Ralph Ashman! Ah. You look beautiful in your bedroom. Yes, our bedroom. You would like me to search everywhere? Yes? Yes, everywhere. Hmm. How old are you, Ingrid? 23, sir. And you will be sleeping here tonight? Yes, I'll be sleeping here tonight. <laughs> what have we here? Is this yours? Yes. I always wanted to be married. I'm sure you'll find the right woman soon, sir. Well, perhaps. Perhaps I already have. This will be your first child, yes? Yes. Germany will need many children. It will, yes. You could have volunteered to have a baby with one of our finest young officers. Marriage does not disqualify the perfect Aryan woman. I myself have fathered several children for the program. Young volunteers from the League of German Girls. Some of them were young widows. Some were even married. I can, uh, I can imagine you with me, Ingrid. I can imagine you undressed. Oh, come now. Who's this pretty scowl? Sir, as far as I can recall, the program is not compulsory, it's voluntary. So far, I have no intention of volunteering. Perhaps we can persuade you. I don't think so. What do you think, Vassman, about your wife joining our Liebensborn program? Splendid idea. Something to think about for the future, perhaps. Tell me, Vassman, were you ever called upon to serve your country? Yes. And? I wasn't accepted. I suffer from epileptic fits. Not accepted? <laughs> then you were unfit to serve. And your wife, your wife must have a Aryan baby. It is her duty. Sir, I have work to do downstairs. Ingrid. Ingrid. Fastman, halt! You know that Aryan women are encouraged to procreate with our finest men in order to breed a master race? Yes, Vasma? I'm aware. But do you approve? Would you allow your pretty wife to be sired for the Fuhrer? I'm prepared to do everything for the Fuhrer. I will hold 
Reisführer Strain. Now, take me to Obersturmbahnführer Eichmann. Yes, Obersturmbahnführer. The maid at the Krausenberg Villa. Ingrid Bassman. You know of her? Not everything yet. Why? Tomorrow, when this business is over, grateful if this young woman could be brought here and held in a private room for me. Something reasonably soundproof. Pretty? Yes. Very pretty. And Aryan. I don't know why you won't reconsider. Approach Mr. Krausenberg. I told you, it's too dangerous. You'll be given some money and then perhaps I can buy transit papers. Don't panic. Mrs. Krausenberg. Lovely surprise, we've missed you. Oh, Ingrid. Mr. Krausenberg tells me you're pregnant. Yes. Congratulations. Bassman, how are you, my little Nazi? Very well, madam. I just wanted to see if everything was in order for the dinner tonight. Mr. Krausenberg was here earlier. He informed me of your guests. Just checking. I know Germans like everything clean. So, you two must be overjoyed at your Reichsfuhrer himself coming to dinner. Yes, madam, very excited. I'm very nervous, madam. Himmler's staff. More butchers. Reichsfuhrer's staff will serve him at dinner tonight. I'm told Himmler is fond of food, but not of Jews, I fear. But then, you don't know how he makes the Jews suffer. Oh, we know some things, madam. Yes, I'm sure you do. But Himmler and Eichmann are no threat to you Germans. No, not to us, madam. <laughs> if only you knew how lucky you are. Madam, we would love to come with you to Palestine. Palestine? Yes. <sighs> Impossible. It's not just a question of stepping across the street, my dears, but bargaining for our lives every step of the way. Yes, so I understand. Do you? I hope so. Because you're Germans and I'm a Jew. But above all, we are human. Well, some of us. We do not agree with everything that they do. I should hope not, Ingrid. But for now, bugger them. Walk me into the garden.
It was Gizzi Fleischmann who put forward the idea of paying the Nazis for the lives of Jews. It was called the Europa Plan. But then Eichmann caught her and had her killed. She was my very dear friend. She must have been so brave. This uh, Europa Plan, what's the least that one could pay for safety? Oh, too much. What a world we live in. As far as I'm concerned, you could keep it. And Adam, after tonight, you and your family you will live. Isn't that right? We hope so. But if Himmler didn't think he would get more money and power by what he's doing here tonight, we'd already be in a gas oven. Oh. How can they do this? All I know is we're allowed to buy our lives, but not the lives of others less fortunate than ourselves. Oh. Enough of this talk. Come oh. sit. I have a present for you both. These are more personal to me than money. But it's how I wish to say Auf Wiedersehen to my Aryan couple. Hmm? Here, Ingrid. This came into our family from the Tsar of Russia. I give this to you for a reason, that you will remember the Jews who were kind to you. I don't know. It's beautiful. The diamonds are very special. Each is a rare yellow. They're worth a lot of money. You could buy a house with one of them. Here, Bussman, my little Nazi. <laughs> Thank you. This, of course, is over and above what Mr. Kratzenberg will be giving you from his birth, yes? Oh. Ingrid. There, there. Oh, I'm sorry, Mrs. Kratzenberg. I'm so grateful for your considerations to me. I have never felt any of this Nazi resentment or jealousy from you, my dears, but only a kind of love from you both. So this is my small way of saying thank you. Had I had children, I would have wished them to be like you. But of course, Jewish. <laughs> I will see you both this evening. And we will be cold and efficient with each other as the SS demands between Jews and Gentiles, yes? As you wish, madam. And you will be good Aryans and help save us from these madmen. Of course, you can trust us, madam. Yes, sir. Right, sure. The cars are waiting. You have the contracts? Yes, sir. Let's go.
My God, is this a dinner or a rally? I'll try not to throw up. At least not over here, then. Please. Good evening, Ingrid. You look perfect. Thank you. May I fetch you a drink, sir? No, thank you. Yes, please, Ingrid. A large one. Mrs. Krausenberg, how delightful to meet you. You have a magnificent home. Did. Well, thank you. Uh, would you like a drink, or, or shall we, shall we have dinner? We're both very busy. Dinner. This way. No. After you, Madame. Please. Will you be having wine? A German Moselle, perhaps. I'm afraid not. But we have some fine French wines. How long did it take you to acquire such a vast art collection? A lot longer than you. I never cared for art before. But now you find it rewarding? Europe. 
Please, do not be offended. Has anyone ever asked you why? Why what? Why the camps? Why, why the Jews? Perhaps you should ask Eichmann when he arrives. He's the expert. But I will tell you this. No other country wants you. Not even Palestine can take all of you. So we have no other alternative. But to kill us? Well, not all of you. <laughs> Or have you forgotten? Oh no, Rex Fuhrer. We will never forget. And you will never be forgotten. I would like to propose a toast to the Krausenbergs and thank them for their generosity. The Krausenbergs! Let us adjourn to the library for coffee. Permission to smoke, right, Führer? Yes, but it affects my breathing. Smoke over there. Mr. Krausenberg, I've ordered Obisch and Bad Eichmann to come here tonight and join us for coffee. So I understand. I did not invite him for dinner. Oh, thank God. But as he is in command of the Jewish problem, it is under his direction that your flight will be clear tonight. We have a transport plane standing by, Rex Führer. Excellent. And madam, may I suggest you wear warm clothing? It gets cold at that altitude. There's a kind side to you. Thank you. And you will find everything transcribed as agreed. All that will be required now are your signatures. Yes, yes, of course. But we must first read the documents. Here, my dear. Apart from these agreements, Rex Fuhrer, what guarantee do we have between signing now and getting off the plane in Switzerland tomorrow? Are you implying you don't trust me, madam? Perhaps it is the Obersturm van Fuhrer Eichmann I don't trust. After we sign these, he might squash us into a cattle truck somewhere like Auschwitz or Treblinka. Impossible. Not even the Fuhrer can override my orders. Sign and you're safe. You have my word and that should be good enough. I suggest we move on, yes? Gizzy Fleischmann. Was she under your personal assurance during talks on the Europa Pan, Reichsfuhrer? Yes, that was a different situation, Mrs. Krausenberg. Not like this. Rachel, please. Unfortunately, I did not handle it, and so it was left to the Obischen van Fuhrer, who... Had her killed? Surely he must have known she was crucial to your plans for... pay now, live later? That was the past. Today you're under my protection. So you say. But I'm sure you understand my caution. Yes. Which is why I've ordered the Obishtan Fiora to come here to put your fears to rest. Nothing shall come between your signature and you leaving with your entire family. The Swiss banks will not transfer the process until you and your family are safe on Swiss soil. Is that not correct, Mr. Krausenberg? Yes. That is our arrangement, Rachel. Oh, 
Busman, please serve the coffee. Yes, sir. Is everything in order? The contract, the family names? Yes. Mrs. Krausenberg. Yes, it all seems to be correct. Then you will sign. Yes. But I, I have I have one final request. Yes. I would like your word that all of my employees are safe. You have Nearly 3,000 employees, is that right? Yes. Are any of them Jews? No. Not anymore. Then you have my word as I have yours. No harm shall come to them. Thank you, Reisfuhrer. Rachel, let us sign the papers. No. Let him wait outside. Heil Hitler. Heil Hitler. Gentlemen, may I offer you coffee? Yes. Large whiskey, as you wish. Is everyone signed? In order? Yes, I'll obey your orders. Tonight, right at midnight, the plane will leave to take them to school. Please don't do anything stupid. Standard and Führer and Hauptmann Führer Dressler will receive every assistance from your staff when they escort the Krausenbergs to the airfield. Yes, Rash Führer. Good. Right, Führer. Let me make the introductions. Oberstenbandführer Eichmann. This is Ed Joseph Krausen. We've met. And his wife, Madame Rachel Krausenberg. Herr Hitler! Oh, come, come, Oberstenbandführer. Where are your manners? Kiss the lady's hand. Important that you follow my orders to the letter. Is that understood? Understood. I've given my word to Mrs. Krausenberg. Well, then it is my duty. I will do everything to assure and expedite the evacuation. Good! The Albertian Van Fjorda has guaranteed the safe departure of your family. Our parts here are now completed. I will be at the airfield at midnight but will not be seen, so we must say our goodbyes now. <laughs> Mr. Krausenberg, let us shake on our arrangement. We are now ex-business partners, yes. And you, madam, you have been a most gracious hostess. Good night and goodbye, Reichsführer. I hope we never meet again. Goodbye. Help them for your address, love. You will drive the Krausenbergs to town, and then onto the airfield. We have now an extra car. Heil Hitler! Heil Hitler! Heil Hitler!
Called for me, sir. Oh, yes, Bosman. We will be leaving tonight. We were wondering what you and Ingram were going to do. We have plans, sir. I'm worried, Mrs. Krausenberg. Ingram. We will be all right. Hans, no. We will not. We will not be all right. Sir. Madam. I have a secret to tell you. We are Jews. Same as you. What? You're Jews? Yes, madam. Born and raised in Germany. Our names are Leila and David Steinberg. <sighs> We joined the resistance movement. They changed our names to Hans and Ingrid Fassman. Perfect Aryan couple. Oh my God, I had no idea. Sir, we hate Nazism. Hans tonight, he wanted to poison Himmler and Eichmann with cyanide pills. What? Poison Himmler and Eichmann? Is this true, Vassman? What a mess. What are you thinking? Why didn't you tell us you were Jewish? We wanted to tell you, sir. We wanted to, but we were forbidden. Now the SS probably know our true identities and... Oh, my God. I don't know what to do, what to say. I Take us with you. It's too late. It's impossible. If we had known earlier, perhaps. But all we ever wanted to do was relay transmissions about the camps and what the Nazis are doing to our people. Yes, yes, now. What will happen now? Have you made plans? Maybe we can... Escape no, to England. Mr. Krausenberg, no, please. Please, please. Take us with you, please. My dear, don't you know we're all accounted for? This is the conclusion of months and months of wrangling and, and negotiating for our lives. It breaks my heart to see you know what is happening. Madam, please, please. Your only hope, oh. madam. Oh, please, my child. Please, my please. child. Please. Joseph will think of something. Isn't that right, Joseph? I will think of something. I will thank you. Madam. Bosman. These coins are very valuable. Use them wisely and try to buy your freedom. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I'm sorry for the trouble, sir. I only hope Eichmann doesn't find out about you until long after you've left here. Come, my dear. We must go. Dressler, isn't it? There's something I'd like to talk to you about. We'll talk in the car. Good. Goodbye. Good luck. Goodbye, sir. Goodbye. Thank you, sir. Good luck. Are 
Are you mad with me? Confirmation of your safe arrival. And the final payment, of course.
Good. Edelhein, Becker, you come with me. Obschirmann für Reichmann. Well done. Excuse me, Reichführer. I thought I should detain the servants at the villa. Edelhein, we have more important things to do. Heil Hitler. Heil Hitler. Heil Hitler. Reports have come in on the Vastman couple. It's confirmed they're Jews. Jews? Might not be wise to tell the Reichs the truth about them until after they've been executed. Yes, perhaps you're right. I could avoid problems for all of us. Leave it to me. I'll take care of her. Well, as you wish, Dresler. I'll need their confessions for the record. You will not be disappointed. Rosenberg Estate, Vassman speaking. They want to speak to the guard. Hello? There's a telephone call for you. Stop. Come. Station here. Three months, Herr Hauptsturmführer. But I leave tomorrow for the Russian front with the rest of my regiment. Russian front. Interesting. What's your name? Wachmeister Schmidt, Herr Hauptsturmführer. Follow me. Drive to go with you. This helps with you. Come here. Stay here, keep guard. Oh, 
Mix! Quickly. Left. Left! Down on your knees. Get down on your knees! <laughs> Across from those flight left without any complications. And we are to be killed. Those are my orders. You're to be shot because you're Jews. You don't deny this. Oh, my goodness. Silence! <laughs> Rosenberg and his wife betrayed you. They begged me to make out travel documents for you. Rosenberg also told me of the gold he gave you. We'll hand it over now. Take it. Take it. Spare my wife. Impossible. You will enjoy killing Jews. Correct. God help you. He already has. You have the gold. Let my wife live. My orders are to telephone Eichmann at his headquarters and to let him hear you confess your real names. Then he wanted to hear you being executed. Oh, Mr. Mafia, a Dresler here. Yes, they're both here. Speak. Tell him your real name. My name. My name is David Steinberg. You! My name is Lisa Steinberg. Yes, sir, Mr. Mafia, and they groveling like pigs. I should shoot him first, then her. <laughs> the woman is still alive. You must change. You're off to Switzerland to see the Krautsenbergs. Hurry. Move it. Hurry! <laughs> Car. There's your wife. She's coming. I have your transit documents, train tickets. These will get you to Switzerland. Are you certain? These are personally stamped by him. Don't be asked questions. What if we are questioned? Why are we going to Switzerland? You're visiting a brain specialist for your epilepsy, Dr. Heinrich Stürmer. Remember the name. And if we're questioned, why do we carry documents stamped by the Reichsfuhrer? You won't be asked if you act accordingly, but if you are, you are his personal musical assistants. Follow me. Stone Bandfuhrer Eichmann, please. I see. Well, perhaps you can help me. Could you tell me if two civilians, Hans and Ingrid Vassman, have been brought in for questioning today? No one at all. I see. You are sure? Thank you.
they've escaped! Who? Crouchenberg's servants! It's impossible. They were shot by Dresler. Who told you this? They me from the palace. I heard it. Then where are the bodies? Buried. I went there. I found these. Ah! Look! I saw the grave. The only body was a German soldier. You've been lied to! I was told to be nice to them. Mind my own business not to ask questions. Yeah. I'll find them and execute them personally. Put out an alert for two young Jews heading for the Swiss border. My staff will give you full descriptions. She's a Jew? When you reach the Austria-Swiss border, it'll be your final check before freedom. Krautsenberg will be waiting for you at the second station. Its name is Rhine. Be careful. Trust no one. In here. Here's some local currency. It's not as much as your gold, but it's enough to get you through. I suggest you go. Thank you for everything. What are you doing, Edelhein? Where are they? Traveling. How much did they pay to join the Krauts and Burks? I suggest we discuss this with the Reichsführer. No. I don't know where that is. Get his gun. mistake. They have legal papers. Impossible. Unless, of course, you forge them. You shoot him if he moves. Yes, I'm going to stand by Say goodbye to your family.
Yes, sir, man, Fuhrer. We've just received information that a young Jewish couple are trying to escape to Switzerland using falsified papers. We have their descriptions? Everything. They're also wanted for the murder of a German soldier. You sent for me, Rex Vera. Yeah, sit down. Eichmann woke me to tell me about the Aryan couple. It appears they are, in fact, Jews. And Dressler was found to be involved in some form of duplicity with them. So I understand. We must speak to Dressler, since he was the last person to talk with Krosenberg. Yeah. And no doubt they're joining Krausenberg in Switzerland. What do you suggest? You are still to receive a very large amount of gold and the signatures for the bank transfers. And of course, Krosenberg does not want any harm done to his 3,000 employees. I suggest we alter nothing at this stage. Good. The only one who cares about the two escaping Jews is Eichmann. And it seems Edelhein. He's rushed to stop them. Then deal with it. Yes, I can assure you that we are already in receipt of this information. 
has already been acted on, and everything is under control. Well, with respect, the information that we received came directly from the offices of Obersturmbahn Führer Eichmann himself. I understand. And may I ask on what authority you are acting? Ah, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Vassman. I believe the Major needs to see your papers himself. Yes, of course. Is there a problem? No. Just routine. Please. Step aside. you perfectly. Mr. and Mrs. Vassal. Sorry for the delay. Your papers are in order. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Good evening. you have questions to answer. You must come with me. Don't. No. They will shoot you. Come. Quickly. Are you Edelhan? I am. Who gave you the authority to do this? Obersturmbeinführer Eichmann. But not Reichsführer Himmler. No, but these are Jews, and they are traveling on false papers. So I was informed. But I now learn that you are, in fact, delaying the departure of the Reichsführer's personal music advisors. Personal music advisors? They are Jews! And they are trying to escape! I have just spoken personally with the Reichsführer. They have been mistakenly classified as Jews. You will now let them go. The train is leaving. I suggest you do not miss it. This cannot ah! happen! Ah! They are Jews! I do not repeat orders, Oberstum Fuhrer. Mr. and Mrs. Vassman, go on. You are clear. Hurry, you do not want to miss your train. Stop them! They are Jews! Stop them! Ingrid Vassman!
Isn't it beautiful? Rhino, next stop! Rhino, next stop! Rhino, next stop! God bless to you and your families. Why is this crowd? But for now, bugger them. Did you say Rex, you're a hymn, sir? <laughs> Take us with you. To the Krausenbergs. And thank them for their generosity. I will hold you to your word. You must have quite a collection. Tell me, are you donating the collection to the Reichsfuhrer? You are his personal musical advisors. Now, there's no way I could go. Sorry for the delay. I suggest little to nothing at this stage. <laughs> 